I don't see anything. Tu comprends pas français. Okay, so why are we there here? France. I think uh, we are here because of the music and because of the documentary. Or basically, we are here because of the documentary. And the documentary came about because of the music. The music which you know, the EP Acropolis, that me and uh, Yao P, or Yao P and I. That thing, I don't know why it's the problem. Yao, you and I, me and you, we put out and you know, we did a documentary about why we did it and who it's for and whatnot which hasn't been released, we just released a trailer. If you love music, you're gonna rock with Acropolis. More than just the music, is the culture is coming with, and the style, the fashion, and the whole vibe. There was a film festival, urban film festival. They called for entries, we entered, and Charlie, <laughs> we did it. Yeah, by the time we go, this guy <laughs> waste one at a time. <laughs> so cross me, go check it. <laughs> no. Me and Brenner, we stand the car park like, oh, we waste for Jason. But so then what you do? What you do? What you do? See me if this TV is coming. Wait, this guy to the claim punctual, punctual to. <laughs> I don't really understand. Jason, why, why, why are we now? Checking in when you already got to. Why, why you be brown? So, the school boys, why? Yeah, the school boys, why? Why? I can't the airport there. There are few say people check in. Because I know say check in, you, you know, you get travel expense plenty. You know say check in, don't you? If you take play, you have a goofy you. So, I feel say you guys check in already. So, me, I entered, and the first thing I was to do was to check in. I didn't even check to see where you guys were. Yeah, but the thing we said that we said we said we did check in for. Like, you see, that'd be the funny outside. thing. So, right now, because I start checking. Because we, you call me. Yeah. Then we. Then we tell you, you tell you call me first. We say where we did. We say that we did the parking lot. So yeah. you message me or something. I message you. Yeah. So as you talk, say you did the parking lot. I say ah, you checking? What you say now? I say ah, that be when me I panic. Cause I feel like if people there outside they wait for me, then me and my mama go checking without you guys. Cause me and my mind me say if people checking, will you wait for me or something? No, me like I come from the front. Ah, be seven and they talk to him right now. He say. See. Did you not see this rope as a thing? <laughs> me and they wear two chains. Then no beats me anything. Y'all be wear in chain. Then worry I'm sorry. I don't want to say it's cool. It's cool for so they wear masks. Hey, y'all be start to explain, show them, <laughs> they show them pictures me at this side. Where they look them. Charlie, then they worry I'm like, I'm like, hey, Charlie, most they hurry, most go. No, then some. Custom I me, mean, I just the standard yeah, observer. Some then some guy moved to me, say, <laughs> I understand that maybe it's a security zone, but no, or whatever. But I don't, I don't see me standing there as a problem. So he came up to me and he's like, like he did stand there and he's like, yes, they are checking in security. I say, hey, hey, easy, tiger. No, easy. but then the guy they act, they, they, they act, act very, very disrespectful. Yeah, so I'm like, hey, hey, easy, like. tiger. Now the easy tiger, I tell him, I don't know, like you, they, you, they make aggressive towards me. I say, chill You did you can't. What I say, you know what? If you want me, I go stand the day duty free stuff, I go go stand because you know what? Here to your zoom. Here, you go feel waste my time. So you are going make you go have your little liberty and do that. But still, chill and just fuck off. Period. Wait now, we should go catch another place. Brent, I have to waste one at a time. <laughs> Charlie. Me, and me, I feel say probably Brent, I have no even. I feel say probably he come out from somewhere we. I don't know. At the temple, then you know the temple is stressed. Charlie, that is stressed. Oh. Yes, uh, yeah. that, because I make worry. Say, ah, Charlie, what this guy do? Then they what? You know me. If time pass on ten top now, then the what if start come my head inside? What yeah, if? But then, what but if? Then what the if? same thing. The same thing. You say, in the time it, we they left, I should say he waits. Uh, I know. But, but then it, it, it was the whole ticket thing. But I think once we reach, we got to Istanbul. If we had spoken to that guy, the guy where he tried deny me that this thing. Some guy, we meet, we reach there, he say, because I take the blah, blah, blah from 
another uh, what do you call it? Another country which is not France because it's Schengen or whatever. The Anugufi enter France. I say, hey, my guy, I beg you, <laughs> check your thing because there's a code and I see an FR at the end of it. So I think that means I can't enter in France. So check in, check in. And you know how these Turkish people speak really fast. As you know, they check that thing. So it just went to an eye. But then Bread Knife had another flight he had to catch. So Charlie, we wait, sir. If like if the music says we won't make like we we'll make like three songs for the airport, then we wait, sir. <laughs> It started rain. <laughs> we, we can't meet rain. <laughs> the rain just put me off like ah. <laughs> oh, this guy. Charlie, I catch that. Not be happy. I don't know. Maybe usually I don't know. Maybe that be help me a day if I enter new space because I be used to uh, a certain space. If I enter the new one, it will take time for me to embrace the new space. But in my way of embracing it. I begin not to like it, and then I begin to like it. So me, I know my body. I knew with time, I'll just pick up Tumultuous times. And, and, and start liking the place. We found a hotel where... Yeah, found a hotel. We did everything on our own. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, we, we take the train. But it was you know. cool though, it was cool. It was like a nice yeah. transition. Yeah, it was, it was. So I think there are like two major things you need when you're coming to like France, like Europe actually. Yeah. Number one, you need like the, them two pin sockets that you don't get anywhere else in the China said no they make that. I thing. swear. Now if we go around the central extension cable, the extension cable, extension board, we I come bet. Y'all be y'all be speak some we get some extension I board. <laughs> y'all be they speak some allo French, eh? Hey, some things. Hey. We enter some shop. Y'all be won't talk electronics, so is it? Is it Tony? The guy look up like you need to charge. I think maybe the other thing is like transportation. Mm -hmm. If you can just get like a ticket for the week, for the week or yeah, for the time you would be here. It's cool. Yeah, that one's a good. So you move around the city much easier. Yeah. But then, yeah, Charlie, please. One thing I realized: take your French serious. If you if you DJ SS or SS, you have to take him seriously. You know, you say to go in body. Take take your friends. You know what I'm saying? But how many times do you go there? It's night time in this bar. Night time in this bar. Tu compras pas français, so. Come, I'll show you this life in the desert. We met a friend called How. Yeah, yeah, his friend called Howard. Very, very, very nice person. Very, very, extremely nice. Uh, she come on a, on a room inside. I mean, she comes like, I can't sleep, Charlie, for me. <laughs> I just won't sleep. Oh, yeah, Charlie, she said, you know, there are a lot of things around. She spoke to us about even where we are, like it's the most African part of the city. And it's true, if you move around, you will see a lot of North Africans, Senegalese and whatnot. She showed us the market, you know, typical African thing. You see how the population is mainly Africans, like 80% to 90% of people living here and working here and come, like people come here to hustle. So the people being here are illegal, like illegal immigrants, most of them. And it's because of all this gentrification. For years, I mean, when I was younger, I used to come in this place like every time because I was born in Paris. Actually, you have a lot of Senegalese people, Malian people, Ivorians, Congolese. Congolese are here. 
like this is their place. Barbès is more of the North African, so Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, here will be more the black ones. And the Nigerians are here actually, Ghanaians as well. They are all here. Our Africans live in Paris. The hustle, like this is, for me, the definition of this place is hustle. They are here to hustle. That's the one word that, if I had to choose one word for them, it was it would be hustle. She showed me some size. Some people they then do like makeshift um stores where like for Accra, if you do pavement stuff, if I buy the come then Charlie, then pick them at things and move. Some day like people set up like that, we then see if police they come, if they see the police not then they just weigh them at things they are way bass. So it's like Charlie, the hustle there is international, Charlie. <laughs> like yo, you don't start. So how I really show you a lot of things and she gave us a little tour. She gave us a little tour with a friend also called Sophie. Sophie is Moroccan. And yeah, she too should be very, very cool person. Yeah. Museum, so it was kind of close to like the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower. So we got to see the Eiffel Tower at night. The light's beautiful, Charlie. Beautiful. And it's huge. I didn't know it was that huge. I knew it was huge, but I didn't expect it to be. I don't know, it was huge. But the city is pretty lit. Yeah. It's pretty lit. The wow. buildings, the architecture, everything is nice. Yeah, but then we know really, we haven't really gone out, gone out yet. Probably tonight, so we will see what will happen. Yeah, yeah. You there? You see anything you like? I don't see anything. This be there. Nothing. I don't see anything. It's a wrap. And start liking the place like how my girl be smoking that cigarette over there. You know what I mean? I feel like bad. Every morning you be like, should you do this thing? <laughs> or when she see the flat niggas out here. I'm just joking. <laughs> It'd be better now we should see her. It'd be better now we should see her yeah, you know what I mean? Right now, right now, it'd be better now. Why are you down to the transport? I got you, man. I got you.